But all this is still just the beginning of our story. We will continue to research, innovate, and push boundaries. To proudly help bring energy to our world. And in doing so, we will fuel the future. Good afternoon, everybody. And for me, it is a pleasure to introduce uh, this uh, fantastic group that uh, has been working on the difference between the uh, tactical uh, project management versus the strategic one, uh, comparing a couple of EPC company in order to see what they uh, could do in order to improve their business goals. So I'm glad to pass to Jackson for the introduction. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Success <laughs> and profit. These two are perceived by business analysts and experts as the most important indicators organization leaders work toward achieving. However, they also point out that depending on the strategy and the goals adopted by those leaders, those uh, 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 targets can be met successfully or not. Therefore, gentlemen, we shared, we choose to share with you today the topic about strategic project management office implementation in the oil and gas execution organization because we feel that this topic has a lot of good elements to help business leaders achieve the target of success and profit. I will try to explain strategic PMO by answering that question. Why project management offices have to be more strategic in today's rapidly changing economic environment? Especially in the last decades, forward-thinking companies are quickly realizing that just getting the job done will not prepare them for sustaining business growth. Because of these reasons, the organizations have PMO are moving away from traditional approaches. To understand the reasons, we will compare traditional and strategic PMOs. Traditional PMOs have some basic characteristics. Project management tools as a map, and they focus on managing tasks, kind of back office activities, planning, reporting, project administration. They are also bureaucratic. Levels of authorities, rules, and a lot of documentation, written records. We see this type, this function, negative function, mostly in national oil companies. At the same time, they are also successful on departmental level. And last one, they mostly emphasize on monitoring and control. All these prove that Traditional PMOs give a significant error. What error? Change oil error in the business. Solution? Solution, strategic PMO. We need a transformation, traditional PMO to strategic PMO. Tools as a compass give right directions to organizations, and they focus on strategic priorities, like growing revenues, reducing expenses, and deeper customer relationship. And there are flexible approaches, improve effectiveness and innovation in the organizations. That is the key element nowadays. And they are successful on portfolio level. And the last one, they emphasize on collaboration, of course. This comparison shows us that the traditional PMOs are like the engine not working properly, 
shaking and making frustrating noises. Nobody likes this, this kind of sound, right? Only by changing the engine, only by changing the oil, not changing the engine, not changing the vehicle, we don't need to change the, any driver. And second and last thing, I am explaining today strategic roles for project management offices. There are three important roles. First one, project execution excellence. And second one, project management maturity. It means common project language and common project process with a single methodology. And the last one, shared support functions. We, we define that project management perspective for other departments in the organizations, like human resource. Thank you for listening to me. And my colleague Jackson will go on to the next topic. Well, quick conclusion. We would like you to leave this room today and when you think about project management office just for two things. The first thing is that project management office, especially a strategic one, provides leaders with a 360 degree overview of the organization in only one snapshot in front of them. It's there because it covers all the processes from the project to the portfolio and it aligns it to the business objectives. Most important, it goes through all the way from people, processes, you know, and technology and other things. The second thing is that should you decide to implement a strategic PMOs in your organization, bear in mind what Mohammed said on his last words. Prepare your organizations for change. Thank you very much, gentlemen.